Welcome back to Tameron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 2. In this video, we're going to get started playing the game. But before we actually unpause it, we should look at what all of these buildings are so that you know what you have in your home system. The most important building is your Orbital Command Station. That is your home base. You can select that by pressing B for your base. Okay. If this is destroyed, you lose. Game's over. Okay, so protect this at all costs. It generates a little bit of metal and a little bit of energy for you. Uh, we also have down here, as another part of your uh, home system, we have these buildings right here. These are humans in battery containers, all of the Matrix, and humans that are mining asteroids or something for metal. Okay, they give you a little bit of energy metal, and is what that is. And if they're destroyed, they're gone. You cannot ever rebuild those. You also have a force field generator right here, which projects this bubble around your home, so your home system uh, facilities. You've got a science lab right here, which you can select by pressing S for science. We also have three docks. There's a mercenary space dock, a sp plane space dock, and then there's also a starship constructor. You can cycle through all of them by pressing D for docks. Okay. The most important one is the space dock. All right. In it, you can always build scout drones standard fighters and bombers and missile frigates all right these are your four starting ships in our first video we chose space tank as our additional ship so here it is we have that as our fifth option let's go ahead and queue up all of these ships by pressing each of them once and we can see that they appear in this queue right here as we click on them Okay, it says zero of one because there's only one to build. If we unpaused it right now, it would spit out one of each of these ships and be done. And that is not what I want to do. I want them to repeat that. So I'm going to click this, this arrow one time and it'll turn it into the circular arrow. You can just toggle between those two options by clicking on it. This means that it'll just repeat these. So it'll just continually pump out these ships until we have the ship cap of each one, which is 96 for these four types of ships and 10 for the scouts. Okay. So that's the first thing that we'll want to do in any game, is build up our fleet. I'll go ahead and unpause it now, and we can see that our engineers are going to go over there after they build the automatically built things that we had set to be built in our control screen in the last video. All of those engineers are going to go straight to pumping resources into this space dock. All right? We can see these yellow beams right here where our four engineers, that's the two engineers we started with, and the two that we automatically built from our control screen a few moments, you know, in the last video there, those four engineers are all pumping out resources into this space dock. That's creating these ships that are coming out around it. Now, we don't want all these ships just to pile willy-nilly on top of the space dock. We want to give it a rally point. So with the space dock selected, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so I can view my whole home system here. And I'm just going to right click out somewhere that's in the direction of those warp gates out there. Okay. So now that space dock is going to spit out the ships right there. If I were to draw a box around everything right now, it will only select my military units. Okay. And I can just right click them all right here and move all those ships into this one location. So that they'll all be pumped out to that same spot. And now our buildings are clutter free. We also always start with two Mark II scout drones. That's these ships right here. Any ship that has this little blue circle around it means it's cloaked, meaning the enemy can't see it unless they spray it with, with a tachyon beam. Okay. So while these are being pumped out, we want to uh, get our engineers built up in this system. We've, we've only got four engineers here. You start with the two and build two more, right? But we want more than that. I want about 10 in our home system. So I'm going to press B to build something at my base. And on the they have four tabs here. On the Econ tab, which is the leftmost one, we have the Engineer Drone in the bottom left. You can see we can build 37 more of those Engineer Drones. If I select the Engineer Drone and I click out there, it'll just drop one. Okay? Can't make another one. If I hit B to build something in my base and grab that Engineer Drone and then hold down Shift, I can click to drop one and then see my mouse is still there. So I could just click to drop another one. You see? If I were to hold down control with or without shift, control while I click, it'll drop five engineers out there. Now that's plenty of engineers for my home system. I could also hold down alt to drop about 10 at a time if I chose. Okay. So now we have all of these engineer drones and they are all pumping resources into the space dock and we're all rallying to this point right here. While we're building our fleet, now's the time we want to do a little bit of scouting. 
So let's go ahead and grab our scouts by uh, using this right hand column here. You can click on any of these or mouse over any of these for information or to select any of the buildings or ships in the system. Left click the scout drones which brings them into this window down here and then if I want I could just left click on one of these to select a sub selection of this group which is exactly what I'll do. I just want the scout one so I'm going to grab those by left clicking there. Now I just have the scout one selected. I'm just going to move them over here so that they're separate from everyone else. And what I want these scout drones to do is to scout these three neighboring systems. So I'm just going to left click on that stack there which will just select whichever one happens to be on the top of that stack. I'm going to hold down control and right click each of these warp gates. Control right click is the command to go through warp gates. So we'll send one scout drone through each of these three gates. Now if I were to press tab we can see that the scout drones are scouting these systems here. Okay we have no information until the scout drone arrives. Alright but as soon as that scout arrives that information window appears in the, in the bottom left. I'm going to pause it for a moment. So let's take a look at these three systems and evaluate which one of these we should make our first priority. If we look at Durbin here, this one has an AI force field generator, a core shield generator E secondary, a warp gate, a command station, which is their, like a base, okay, uh, a laser post, which is a gun turret, and a special forces post, which is a place that he can put units whenever he reinforces units. And at the very bottom of that info window, we can see resources, metal three. In our home system, we have 13, so three is not that many. That system is not very attractive. The next one here, Pabanmati, has a force field generator, a D core shield generator, a warp gate, a command post, a laser post, and a special forces guard post. Almost exactly the same thing. This one, however, has eight metal resources if we look at the bottom of that list. So that has a pretty good metal income, actually. So that is that is definitely better than this one. The third one here has a backup. Okay, A backup is something that we could hack into to get another type of ship. So that's something that we're going to want to go to later when we're able to do hacking in the mid-game. So we don't want to go that way right now. It also has a core shield B secondary and a factory 4. A factory 4 is a very, very, very important building. It allows me to build very powerful ships later on. Okay, So we will want to take this system, but not until we can hack that backup there. So that's, that's for later. Okay, that's a, that's a later priority. So now that we have our priorities, this is the first one because it has eight metal. This is the second one because it's nondescript, I guess. And, and this one is last because we want to capture that later. All right, so let's assign priority one, two, and three to these three systems. All right, I'm going to hold down Alt and press number one. And that's going to give me a P1 on my mouse there. I'm going to click on this one, which is my first priority. Then I'm going to click Alt 3 and click on this one because this is my third priority down here. Okay, uh, Alt 2 to set this as priority 2. So we're going to go here first. Now why did I just do that? It's simply a visual reminder. So now when I look at the warp gates in my home system I can see P1, P2, P3. All right, We've got our plan set now. So let's go ahead and unpause. While we are building this fleet and preparing to attack Fibonacci, let's go ahead and put down a couple of turrets. We want to have some automated defenses in the system so when the enemy AI attacks us, we'll be ready for it. When we're building turrets, we should imagine a line going from right from each of the warp gates right to our home base right here. Imagine a line connecting our warp gates with, with this, and that is exactly the trajectory that the AI will take when they enter the system. So if we put turrets right here, those turrets will be able to fire on any of those three trajectories when the enemy comes in. I'm going to press B to build something at my base, and I'm going to choose the TUR tab, which is turrets. And these are all the turrets that we have available to us at the beginning of the game. All right, Let's go ahead and grab the missile turret and we can see it's got an enormous range. Okay, I'm going to put that missile turret, we've only got three warp gates going out of here, and this can cover all three of them and our home base. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt and click twice. And that's going to build 20 missile turrets right there. 
Let's go ahead and grab the MLRS, that's the Multiple Launcher Rocket System turrets. And I'm going to put, let's say, 20 of those as well. Okay, and I'm just going to have this rear area of that, of that area just barely wrap around the force field that is defending my buildings. Okay, and we'll put 20. Let's do the same thing for the next one, the laser turret. And finally, the needler turret. Right. And now we've reached our ship cap. All of our ships are built. We have 96 of each. The engineers are going to go back into their neutral state underneath the shield. And with that, suddenly we have a warning appearing in the top left of the screen. It says 148 AI-1 Nine Zul Youngling Vultures and one starship are going to attack Vazi, that's this system, our home system, in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and pause it right there. Okay, We're going to need to prepare for this attack. Now that we know what's going to come in, on our next video I'm going to explain to you how to analyze the hull types in an upcoming battle so that you can determine which ships should engage and which ships should retreat. Again, you're watching Tameron's Tactics. My name is Nuck Tameron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.